People place too much of an importance on credentials. Like nobody will listen to anything you have to say if you don't have the proper degrees or accolades in the topic you're trying to discuss, which is stupid. I mean, is it after you turn in your final test or the moment your hand touches the paper diploma that you now magically know what the hell you're talking about? Because you were obviously just spitballing the last 11.9 years, but now that you actually have your doctorate, it's okay for people to listen to you. As if you can't just learn a thing and then pass along the info. Hey, I read that cigarettes can cause cancer. Oh yeah? How many years of research did you pour into this analysis? Because if you did a study over a period shorter than 20 years, I ain't buying it. Unlicensed is such a dirty word in the intelligence community. In a world where schools exclusively sell publicly accessible information. Harvard and Yale don't have one-of-a-kind intelligence under lock and key. Like, if I wanted to be a licensed therapist, it makes much more sense to me to just read a few books written by licensed therapists rather than do eight years of coursework and treat it like the be-all end-all of the path to knowledge. Specialized education is a sham, basically. You're taught to revere a basic system and sneer at any information that comes from something other than a basic system. Plus, considering our global education rank, it's like gleefully betting all your money on the horse that's come in seventh place the last 20 races. We've hardly nailed any curriculums. But anytime a doctor comes on a morning show and suggests anything, people are like, he's unlicensed, get him! He doesn't know things. Knowing things is reserved exclusively for people who have framed pieces of paper hanging on their bedroom wall. You guys are smart, right? Or at least think you are. Instead of attacking someone's credentials, why don't you look for a single problem with what they're saying? You might find one, and that should be what makes you dismiss them. I bring up the inflated importance of credentials because I don't have any kids, and I'm about to give you some pointers on how to raise them. I don't like kids. If you watched this series from the beginning, it's literally the first thing you learned about me. It was in the first sentence of the first video, and it has not changed. I use the nature of children to expunge the myth of inherent human morality, because I don't know how you can think people are born basically good when it is small children's natural inclination to lie, cheat, and steal. I didn't draw on the walls with crayon. I know I'm an only child, which is why I'd like to hear your alibis, mom and dad. Also, you didn't actually win the board game because I changed the rules arbitrarily without telling anyone, as if transparency would make it okay anyway, and I found this $5 bill on the floor right next to your open purse. Nobody taught them any of that. No parent sat their kid down and was like, all right, here's how you get ahead in society if you're good enough. It comes from within, and they pick it up on their own. Parents certainly aren't teaching their kids how to diddle themselves and fuck the couch. The devil instilled that shit in them right off the bat. More accurately, it's human instinct, which is the instinct to be selfish, narcissistic, and damaging to the environment. It's what makes them kick puppies and strangle their baby sisters. It's about asserting their dominance and not sharing attention. The only saving grace is that babies are born small. If we gave birth to full-sized adults with child brains, it would take about a hundred years for us to go extinct. Having kids is the act of raising demons on the off chance they become angels. And the only way that has even an inkling of a chance is if you stamp out that demon shit whenever you see it. If your kid cheats at a board game, you don't tolerate that shit. You say, no bitch, I win, go to your room. If your kid lies about taking a cookie from the cookie jar, which I don't think is even a real thing if it ever was, you look them in the fucking face and say, you know what you just did? You just lied to me. And you're gonna find out why you don't want to do that again. It's not about being scary. It's it's about emphatically not rewarding child bullshit that if left alone will fester into teenage horse shit and then adult jail time. Sometimes you gotta fight narcissism with narcissism too as a parent. Like, you're gonna disobey me? I'm better than you in every way. You can't know more than me. Everything you know came from my mouth, you idiot. I hate kids because I hate pretentiousness. And I don't want to touch them because they don't have fur, and they're the same species as me, so it would be creepy for me to like that. If you volunteer to hold other people's babies, you're a fetishist. Even your own baby, like, knock that off. That's why we have cribs, so they can hold it for you. Do you just want to feel your baby? What kind of sick pervert are you? I never run out of kid material. Children shouldn't have holes in them until, like, age 13. Just put an unpriable iron face mask on them at birth and never let them stick their fingers anywhere. I don't care if it's difficult to breathe, they can go through life working extra hard to keep living it, teach them some humility. Also, if I ever had a daughter, I would force her to become a lesbian. So if I ever accidentally imagined her having sex, it would at least be not that bad. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.